My next guest is coming off the biggest win of his career in the main event, taking out Michelle Pereira. Fifth round stoppage back at UFC Vegas. 99, it's Anthony Fluffy Hernandez back here on the program. Anthony, how you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. Just uh, getting ready to go train again. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. Like, you get this huge win and you're exactly the same. Just chill, you know, nice, like, kind of uh, laid back guy. But uh, what a performance that was, man. I got to ask, though, I know you thought you were going to win going in. Did the fight play out kind of how you thought it would or were there some, some surprises in there? No, no surprises. I mean, he had fucking, he was explosive, had fast ass kicks, just like we thought. Um, and yeah, no, uh, we knew he gassed. I honestly didn't think he was going to gas as fast as he did. He gassed a lot faster than I thought he would. Yeah. Um, so that was, yeah. We, we knew the first round was going to be pretty explosive. Obviously he's known for winning a lot of those fights there. I know he did hit you with the body shot. Uh, what, like how hurt were you there? Uh, cause obviously you're, you're a guy that's pretty durable overall. Um, how are you feeling after that first round? Yeah, no, that shit sucked. It wasn't fun, but uh, <laughs> I was able to breathe it off, you know what I mean? And then after that, I was like, all right, fuck this guy. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did his, um, I was curious, did his durability surprise you at all? Because I feel like there was a couple times where uh, it looked like maybe you were going to finish him and he was able to survive. Did that surprise you a bit? No, he was like, uh, he was fucking tough, honestly, and he was strong. Um, and there was a couple times where I probably like could have finished him in the end, you know what I mean? Like, because mm -hmm. Herb was right there. But I like let off and let it keep going just because I didn't want to like get tired of yeah. beating like you, serve your you know like you smart. see people yeah. yeah you see people gas out like getting overly excited and trying to like TKO someone so I was like I'll just take my time this is a cool pace I'll eventually like cut him cut him or something and get him out of here um, and it worked out exactly how we thought it was so. Did, did the coaches agree with that, conserve your energy, or was Jim in your ear going, hey, finish this fight, or, you know, what, what was sort of the corner advice in between rounds? They were saying go, but, I mean, uh, yeah. it's, like, at the end of the day, I'm the fucking the one who knows what I feel like, so. Yeah, exactly, you know I mean? yeah, you know better than anyone, yeah, yeah that certainly makes sense. Um, at what point did you know you were kind of taking over the fight? I think at home, we sort of knew, you know, second round beyond, it looked like you were really good. Uh, did you know even earlier than that, or when did you know, like, hey, I've got this thing? After like the first and like first round, he was fucking breathing hella heavy, and I was like, "Ah, oh, shit!" Well, I was like, "Huh?" <laughs> I was like, "I think all right, I think I got this. I just got to keep doing the same shit, rinse, repeat till he fucking is exhausted." Mm -hmm. Um, and it just it worked exactly like how we planned on it. <laughs> uh, the only downside with it being the main event, and it was a little bit late over there. Did you get to enjoy yourself after the fights? I know you had media and all that, but did you get up to anything? Get a nice dinner at least? Yeah, no. Um, yeah, what did I? I don't even remember what I did. I fucking as soon as I got back, I fucking smoked, got high as fuck, nice. and then we went and got Mexican food. That's what it was. And then went out for a little bit and enjoyed the night. And then the next day, I just took the kids out, hung out. Monday went to the PI, got some recovery in, and yeah, just back to schedule. <laughs> did you feel the love from the fans after this one? Honestly, I gotta fucking, I gotta go through and look. I haven't really been reading this shit. Um, <laughs> I'm not, like, really a fan of social media, you know what I mean? Yeah, and no, I, I hear you. It's a waste ass. of time, too, I, right? I got, like, my kids and shit are all doing sports, and, like, I just haven't had time to fucking sit down and look at everything. But, like, I'm super thankful for everyone tuning in and shit. I think a lot of people, like, the people that know me expected that. Mm -hmm. But, I mean, I don't know. I got, I got four kids, and they're all doing sports, so it's fucking chaotic over here like fight week is chill as fuck for me because it's like all about me i get to just chill and focus yeah. on fighting you know what i mean but when i get home it's like fucking go here go there go here yeah your, your dad your yeah. dad fluffy you're not like ranked middleweight fluffy right so you, you got exactly of, what, what uh what sports is your are your kids and what, what are they doing now right now we're we're right now we're doing soccer um basketball um what is it basketball training and then um fucking what's the next one yeah, basketball. Oh, track. That's what it is. Oh, wow. Uh, track. Okay, cool. And that's about to end right now. So we're just moving pretty fucking busy. <laughs> Do you get recognized at events and stuff? Like people know you're a fighter and all that? I don't really go to like that many events besides the okay. kids stuff. But sometimes, sometimes people recognize me. Sometimes people don't. Yeah. I don't know. I don't really try to like blow it up. You know what I mean? I just yeah. try. I like to be low key. Yeah, no, no, I hear you, I hear you. I just, uh, I'm sure that's something you're getting more used to the more popular you're getting, right? Like you're seeing people come up and be like, hey, are you that fighter that, you know, especially after last weekend, like that was on regular TV, well, not regular ESPN, and uh, it was a main event, so I'm sure people probably know a lot more about you now than before. Yeah, probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know, I know, but you're not in this for that. It's You're just in there to fight, uh, for, for sure. Yeah, um, no, I'm just trying to get paid and give these kids a better fucking life, you know what I mean? Yeah. And be able to no, chill no, when absolutely. I retire. That's the goal. <laughs> 
Um, any, 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 have you heard anything from your management or anything from the UFC? Like they had to have been happy with that performance. Cause you, you went in there main event, you delivered. Yeah. Mick was happy. Um, and right now it's just, uh, get healthy and then figure out the next date. Um, I have, uh, yeah, that's why I'm getting my x-rays, making sure everything's all good. Um, and then we go from there. Um, yeah. I would like to get back in the cage fucking as soon as possible. Obviously I don't feel like too banged up. I just got a couple bone bruises here and there. Um, and I just got to get one more thing checked out, make sure that's good. I kind of fucked something up going into the fight. And I was like, well, that's not good, but I needed this main event. <laughs> right. That, that's crazy. So, um, yeah, going in, you said you had an injury or whatever. Like, uh, was there ever a point you thought I might not be able to make the fight? Was it that bad? Or was it one of those things? It's like, uh, injury got to deal with it. No, it sucked. There was a point where I was like, ah, oh, this is, this might not be good. Um, cause my shit was locking up, but, uh, Shout out to cortisone shots <laughs> and okay. fucking numbed it up real quick and sent it. And now I got to figure out what the fuck. <laughs> what are you doing with the bonus money? That's obviously a nice little caveat to, to the, to the win. Yeah, no, I'm chilling. Uh, I want to fucking get my property going, man. I fucking hate the city. So I'm trying to like, uh, put a barn out there or something. Oh, cool. And, uh, slowly get my ass back out that way. Um, that's the goal. So I'm just going to be cleaning up my ranch probably. And then rebuilding my dad's fucking old truck for my son and yeah, just keeping it keeping it low-key <laughs> yeah no no for sure not uh not splurging or anything um i know you don't follow the ufc that much i actually thought it was hilarious when they're asking you like you know what's next and you're like i don't even really watch a lot of this stuff um but you know one name i thought uh for you because there aren't a lot of middleweights coming off wins i know it might not happen mm -hmm. but what about a fight with israel out of sonia like that would be i think a, a big you, you want to get to the title that fight would certainly get you there yeah that'd be awesome honestly I'd, i'm i think i'm ready for anyone um it would just be study, 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 and then go send that shit. You know what I mean? Um, but that would for sure prove, you know what I mean? That would prove that you're more than ready because Izzy's done fucking absolutely great things for the sport. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and I guess you're waiting on the x-rays and stuff too. But like that fight, I think, I, I would imagine Adesanya is going to fight in Australia in February. I think that's sort of the timeline. Would that work out for you? That would be tight. I mean, yeah. Australia is a fucking mission, but uh, yeah. I, gotta, I guess I'd have to figure out how the taxes are. Yeah. out there so i'm not trying to get fucked i have a fucking check you know what i mean yeah okay. um so i guess i gotta figure out what's wrong with my knee first mm -hmm. and then we go from there <laughs> okay fair enough um if you were to fight out Sonya, how do you look at that fight stylistically because you got really good wrestling and that was something that ddp was able to take advantage of was, was get out of to the ground it, i mean same shit i've been doing and using the win you know what i mean i gas people out and then i fucking finish them um that would be the game plan against him he's a obviously a fucking very dangerous striker um so you'd, you'd want a close space and uh yeah i think i got a good like grasp on how to beat him and my team i believe has a very good grasp on how to like uh beat him so it would just be put in the work and go get at that shit you know what i mean I don't know if you saw on uh, Instagram. I know you're not a big social media guy. Brendan Allen had a list of opponents he wants to fight next and sort of let the fans vote. And your name was on that list. Of course, you guys have history. You defeated him in LFA a number of years ago. Is that a fight that, that you'd want to have? Or, or since you already beat him, you're kind of looking ahead? I'm kind of like looking ahead. But I mean, obviously, he's a fucking head of me in the rankings. So if that's what had to happen, then it has to happen. But I really don't give a fuck who I fight. Like I said, um, I feel like I had a dominant performance over him. So it was like, do I have to prove it again? But whatever. I really don't give a fuck. I will fight him again. Um, at the end of the day, if I could beat someone else that like has, has beaten him or someone that's fucking em like ahead of him, then that would just put me right in the races. I mean, Mick knows he saw his fight. Um, I know Brandon says he didn't have a good camp, but bro, that's life. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. I know yeah, that if, nothing's ideal you know when you go camp, into a fight. Yeah. yeah if you know the camp i had for that fight bro i didn't do shit i just jogged because i was hurt that whole fight camp <laughs> yeah no, I hear so, you. it is what it is you know what i mean like the both of the shittiest versions of us showed up and we handled business and i was a better guy that night so <laughs> now with this win like are you going to be looking at the division a little bit more or, or just they give you a name and you're like we'll look it up and then we'll we'll, we'll take it and we'll figure it out or, or are you trying to be more strategic because i know you mentioned you want to be closer to a title shot it's got to be a fighter ranked ahead of you or, or some somewhat of a name for right? sure yeah but at the end of the day i really don't like it's i'm not i yeah. really don't give a fuck you're Whatever not in the name, politics Dana, which is Dana. probably better you can focus on fighting and not worry about all the other stuff right <laughs> you know what i mean exactly yeah. um yeah 
whoever the the boss man gives me and that's who i i guess that's who i gotta beat to prove to him you know what i mean um yeah. so that's how i see it personally um yeah. i really don't care though whatever's gonna get me to the belt and get me fucking paid um i'm ready to do <laughs> Do you, do you think it's two more fights to, to get that shot? Because I think Pereira's your first ranked win. Would you, do you think it needs two more, or, or is it just you don't even know and you'll just kind of take whoever? If if you watched how Duplessis did it, yes. Mm -hmm. But you never know, you know what I mean? Strickland beat what, I think, like, two Abus, guys got yeah, a shot or right. some shit. I, I really don't know. Yeah. Um, but I think it's, like, two. I think two is the right number, you know what I mean? Yeah. I, if I had to guess. Two um, big statements, one big statement, something. Uh, are you going to be watching uh, Robert Whitaker and Hamzat Chimaev or you got too much going on being a dad? Honestly, I'm going to be in San Diego with my kids, so I'm going to try to watch it, but uh, we'll see. You're not like, rearranging <laughs> your schedule to go watch it, though. You probably want to enjoy time with your family, right? Because you can always watch it later, right? I mean, exactly. Like, honestly, I'll, like the way I see it is I'll study that shit when they're in front of me. Like, yeah. when the contract's signed with that name, I will study it and figure it the fuck out. But it's just another day, you know what I mean? <laughs> Yeah, and I know, I know we briefly talked about the fight before, but do you think the layoff will affect Chimaev? Remember, he was sick. He couldn't take the fight last time. Rob's had a fight or two. Um, you know, and Chimaev's fighting like a ranked middleweight now, so that's where the, this is going to be an interesting fight. No, for sure. Um, I don't know how it's going to play out. It's like Whitaker's so fucking dangerous on the feet, and he's a good, like, wrestling defense, but at the same time, you see what DDP did to him. It, it's hard to guess, you know what I mean? Yeah. How it plays out. Last question. You mentioned San Diego. What are you guys getting up to? Just uh, family time? Like, are you going to see anything? Or are you going to the beach? Or what are you getting up to? So, my daughter's birthday, my oldest was, her, uh, her birthday was during fucking fight camp. So, like, we couldn't really do shit besides take her to dinner. So, I'm taking her to, like, uh, San Diego. I think it's called Coronado Beach or some shit. Nice. Uh, I'm going to go out there and just uh, enjoy life a little bit. Good. Well deserved after that one, especially uh, Anthony. Thanks for doing this. I told you we get this done in under 15. You're going to make it to practice on time. Uh, anyone you want to thank before we get out of here, as always, I'll give you the last word. Man, I just uh, thank you for obviously for having me. And I just want to thank my team. Um, let's go get this shit, baby. That's all. And my sponsors. Thank you guys. Honestly, couldn't do it without you. You guys fucking, you guys helped me out so much more than, you know, um, 